Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I use the new brush kit by Clarosyc as well as their sketch paint to create this strawberry themed shadow and graphic liner. I have to give a shout out to one of my amazing subscribers, Annalise Marie, I really hope I said that right, who suggested or kind of requested that I try out these brushes and make a video with them. So here's that. Thank you so much for doing so. I'm really glad that I got these brushes. I love them and this video was also so fun to do um, with it being my first time really trying out graphic liner. So thank you. As we see, this is a five brush set. The brushes all look really similar to paint brushes, which is really cute. I got these for $25, uh, so $5 a brush. And that's pretty good and on the lower end for a set that really sets you up with every type of brush that you'll need for basic eyeshadow looks. So to get started, I chose this pink brush that's good for either cutting your crease or applying concealer. But right now I am using it with the NYX White Cream Eyeshadow and applying it all over my lids to create a base. Then, taking this mint green shadow brush, I am going into the color Blossom in my Trendy in Tokyo palette and applying that soft pastel pink all over the lid. This is why I wanted to create a base since this is a very pale color. I wanted to make it sure it popped up on my skin tone. And this part of the eyeshadow was inspired by strawberry milk and you know, that really pretty light pink color. Then taking the yellow brush, which is a slightly dense pointed brush, I went into the color Fashion, which is a true red, which made a really pretty berry tone when blended with that lighter pink. And I really liked how the pointed and angled nature of this brush really helps to define the shape of your shadow. Then using this periwinkle brush, I'm going in with that same color and blending that out. And next I'm taking this lilac fluffy crease brush and without actually adding any more shadow to the brush, I am just blending. And now my shadow using all the brushes in the kit is done and I'll be back with my base applied in about two seconds. So here I am ready to jump into using the sketch paint palette. This is a set of watercolor face paints. I will be using this brush here that came with the set as well as these two elf eyeliner brushes and we of course need water. You'll want a different cup of water for each color you're using. But after wetting the brush that came with the palette, I am going into the red in there. And before actually drawing the strawberries, I am first putting dots on my face to mark the placement of where I want my strawberries to go. I am starting each strawberry by doing a shape similar to a heart. Um, I'm not stressing about it being a perfect heart in any means as this is just the basis to kind of extend into a strawberry shape. And the dip at the top of the heart allows us to create room for our leaves later. That's important because with these watercolor, you can't really successfully layer one over the other. I know because I messed up. This was my second attempt at filming this actually. But when trying to paint the green leaves over the red, it of course reactivates the red and creates like a murky brown color. Whatever shape you go for with your strawberries, leave a little room ahead for you to put that green on a clean base. Then once the hearts are arranged how I want them, I'm going into the green, of course with a different wet brush. And I am just, you know, using strokes to create leaf-like shapes. Um, I'm doing it with sets of three on each strawberry. That was just a bit easier with the heart shape that I had created, kind of creating a V shape and then extending the center. Instead of just packing a bunch of green on at once, 
I am, you know, starting on one leaf set and then moving on to another strawberry, which gives the other time to dry, and then I can come back to it and add more layers so that we can get that green more opaque. Then as the second layer of the leaves dries, I go on to revisiting all of the, you know, heart shapes that were used for the base of the strawberry to um, deepen up the red and just pat color onto areas that are patchy. I find patting your brush to be better for this rather than rubbing, which will disturb what you applied before. And finally, I am going in with the third brush with that orange and I'm using that to just add the seeds on the strawberries. What I found is that I couldn't really get these as opaque as I wished. For example, if you look at my forehead, all the dots I had just applied are suddenly gone like I never put them there. So I just took my time adding different layers on it, um, but I still couldn't get the yellow quite opaque. I don't know if this color would work better, um, you know, without the red under it or if it just is patchy. That was the only thing with this look that was a bit disappointing because I feel like the strawberries are so much cuter with opaque striking seeds. But once I got them as opaque as I could, I took a powder brush and just lightly brushed it over my face to set them in place. And here is the finished look. Thank you so much for tuning in and see you soon.